Hey guys, hey, I just want to offer up um, a, a healing prayer right now. There is um, someone in our community that is in need of healing, and um, I ask you guys to please join me in prayer for Karen. Uh, you may not know her. She is part of um, like the Dollar Tree like community. You know how all these YouTube streets, even though we may have different neighborhoods, <laughs> we still all come together like in a common place, right? So um, I always think of YouTube as a neighborhood, you know, like we're all in different neighborhoods, but we kind of all have this same common place that we meet together and come together and when we, even though we may not know you guys, some of you may not know Karen, um, you know, when we hear of a need um, as Christians, it's just in our hearts and our souls to come together and pray for the, you know, that person and care about what they're going through. So from what I understand, um, she has the virus and um, has had it, I guess, um, I'm not sure how long, but has gotten very sick. Uh, she posted a video, I believe it was on the 24th of December, and um, has gotten very, very, very sick. It's very critical. Um, in fact, um, her cousin that's um, also a part of this uh, community um, said that um, things are just not looking very good for Karen. So I just want you guys to join me in prayer, urgent prayer for Karen. And um, I just ask you to join with me in belief that um, we serve a God that is our healer and he's a way maker. So I'm believing that he makes a way for Karen to live and not die. So Let's pray, you guys. I love you all so much. I love that we can come together like this and pray for the many needs. There are so many sick, you guys. Um, I'm hearing constantly of sickness, of people having the virus and the variants. So I just ask you guys to please be careful Make sure you mask up, make sure that you stay social distancing and just, um, you know, sanitize, do things that are, you know, use your common sense and um, just be careful and stay safe, you guys. OK, and be kind, you guys, let's be kind to each other like we need that more than ever. And let's just continue to pray for one another pray for each need that you hear that comes in. Just take that minute and just, you know, even if you're not sure how to pray sometimes, you know, the Lord knows our, our um, very being. He hears our um, moans and groans and like things that we can't even sometimes put into words. He knows our hearts. So he knows what we're praying for. All right, you guys, I love you guys so much. And thank you. Thank you so much for joining me in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you right now and I ask um, right now in Jesus' name, Father, that you would touch Karen's body. Lord, she's been battling this day in and day out and it has gotten to a very critical place. And Lord, none of this comes to you as a surprise. You're right there. You know what's happening. You see what's happening. And Father, I just know that your word says, heal me, O Lord, and we will be healed. Save me and we will be saved because you are our praise. And Lord, I come to you right now praising you for touching Karen's body. I thank you, Lord, for a good report. I thank you, Lord, that you're with her this minute, that you are uh, surrounding her. I pray you put your angel all about her, Father. I pray your healing hand that by your stripes that she is healed in Jesus' name. And Lord, I just pray that every person that tends to Karen, Lord, that you would put in them the best treatment, the best um, 
solutions to get her well. And Lord, we know ultimately you are our medicine. You are what we, what in just in a moment can heal us. And Lord, she could sit up right this minute and be completely healed and be fine and blow everybody's minds in that hospital or facility. I'm not even sure where she's at, but Lord, you know, and I just pray that to be done right now in Jesus' name. It's not too late. It's never too late. And we just come to you right now and believe and ask you for her healing. We pray for her care. We pray that people will feel a difference, a shift um, when they come to tend to her and to care for her, Lord, that the uh, reports that were bad will now turn good, Father. That when they go to do new scans, they're going to see improvement. I believe that in Jesus' name. I know that you can do it, Father, and I pray that you will. I thank you, Lord, that um, you're a good, good Father. You're a way maker. You are our healer, Lord. You're our light in the darkness in a time where things look bad and like there's just no hope. I thank you that you shine through that darkness, Lord, and you are our hope. Thank you, Father. We love you so much. And I thank you for this community. I thank you, Lord, that you've brought so many believers together that we can join together, Father, and lift each other up in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. I love you. I thank you. And I praise you. And Father, I just um, go ahead and give you a praise and a thank you. And um, I just rejoice, Lord, that you're doing a work right now in Jesus' name. I love you, and I thank you for it. Lord, I thank you um, for each one, Lord, that's willing to join me in prayer. I ask you to bless them. I also pray, Father, for the many, many, many prayer needs, Lord. There are so many sick among us, so many. And again, it doesn't catch you by surprise, but I just pray for them as well. I pray healing. I pray, Lord, for those that are um, emotionally drained. Father, this battling uh, a pandemic day in and day out, Father, this is new to us. It's not something that we get accustomed to. It wears on us, Father. I pray for each person, Father, in the sound of my voice. And I pray that you will touch their, their need and their life. And Father, if there's anybody that's listening right now that doesn't know you as their Lord and Savior, I pray, Father, that they come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Or that they'll come to know that they need a Savior. I don't know how anyone makes it in this world as wicked, as cruel, as harsh as the world has gotten. I need you, Lord. I desire you. I want you more than anything. Thank you for being my Savior. Thank you, Father. And I lift all, each and every person's need up to you right now. In Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for your word, and I thank you that in Jeremiah 33, 6, it says, Behold, I will bring it help and cure. I will cure them and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. Yes, and so be it in Jesus' name. I love you, Lord. Amen. I love you guys so much and I just want to end with the Lord's Prayer and just let you guys know I love you and if you have a prayer need feel free to leave it in the comment section below and know that I do love you. I will lift that need up um, and um, 
Thank you guys for praying along with me. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you, guys. I love you. And you guys, don't forget, if you meet me and forget me, you've lost nothing. If you meet Jesus and forget him, you've lost everything. I love you guys. Thanks for stopping by and thank you for praying for Karen. I hope I'll have a good update for you soon. Thank you guys. Bye.